Great, 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 great Umoja in the week of Nia. And of course, you know, there's no better place to be standing than in the congregation of the mighty, the home of the stubborn minority, the place where your hustle builds muscle. This is Giami Journey Media. I am your host, Brother Hatim. Of course, you know this is a Heart of Some production. And right now we're on Our Thing Podcast and we are doing our top of the week morning announcement the message and we're going to be talking about the spiritual aspects of a of purpose the spiritual aspect of purpose tell them simba you know we're going to strive 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 to blow up your old paradigms Thank you. so without any further ado anime baby if you could bring that music in got it got that music don't want no echoing in the background, though. So let's get to this message, the spiritual aspect of purpose as we embark on this week of Nia. Let us reflect on the profound spiritual essence of our purpose. Across culture, philosophies, and religions, there's a shared belief that our existence is not a random occurrence, but a seed planted with intention and destined to grow. Each of us, like stars in the vast cosmos, has a unique light to shine, a role to play in the grand design of the universe. This week, let's delve deep into the wisdom of ancient scriptures, the teachings of spiritual leaders, and the meditations of philosophers. Let us seek to understand not just the what and how of our lives, but the why. For in understanding our deeper purpose, we find direction, fulfillment, and a connection to something greater than ourselves. May this week of Nia illuminate your path, reminding you that you are not just a drop in the ocean, but the entire ocean in a drop. Damn! All right, it's the proverb. Can we get it? Can, can I get? Can I get some? Can I get the music, please? Can I get the music, please? You know, you gotta turn that down. We don't want no echoing. Let's get it together. Let's get it together. Come on now. Come on. It's the proverb. Oh, proverb. oh man, it's proverb. 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 Not today. Proverb. 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 The proverb of the week. Proverb of the week. Proverb of the week. All right. Can I get the music turned back up, please? Thank you very much. Proverb of the week. As we journey through the week of Nia, reflecting on the spiritual depths of our purpose, let us meditate upon the Proverbs. Smooth seas do not make skillful sailors. You do not know how many times this proverb has popped up. This proverb, even though I probably used it before, has been yelling at me. Pick me. When I put in for a random proverb, this proverb picked me. So I picked it today. Smooth seas do not make skillful sailors. Just as a sailor hones his skill amidst the challenges of turbulent waters, our spiritual growth and understanding of purpose often comes from life's trials and tribulations. These challenges, though daunting, shape our spirit, refine our purpose, and connect us to the divine rhythm of the universe. They remind us that our spiritual journey is not about seeking calm waters, but about becoming adept sailors. Navigating life with purpose and grace. This week, may we embrace the ways of life, knowing that they are shaping us into the best versions of ourselves, guiding us closer to our purpose. Man, y'all don't even know how bad I needed that one. So family, you know, we're gonna move into this week in power. This is the week of Nia. And I'm about to get out of here. Before we get out of here, the folktale of the week is the astronomer. 
right? The, le- the, the message for that is stars above, ground below. The tale of the distracted astronomer. If you don't know that tale, go and look it up. But of course, you know, in order to get in depth information about it, you know, get the discussion that I may have had or I had with other people within my tribe or my extended tribe, extended family, um, you could go and get on our Telegram group or just go join us at freegnjecourse.com. That's freegnjecourse.com. Or you can join us on our Telegram group. And I just realized that even though I'm streaming this, right, even though I'm streaming it, y'all can't hear it, those that just listening to the podcast. So you can look up, look up G&J Tribe, G&J Tribe on Telegram, all right? G&J Tribe on Telegram. I'm going to try to remember that because I'm trying to build up the Telegram group because a lot of people are like, I don't want all those emails, man. I want to check in when I check in. Then, you know, boom, boom, boom. I might want to send y'all Sunday every now and then, you know, but I understand. But, hey, hopefully this gets your week start off right tomorrow. The message of the day is being brought by the Sasha Mosh. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. Powerful message, right? Um, and I'm going to try to incorporate some of the other younger folks into it. You know, I'm going to grab the ones closest to me first. <laughs> well, actually, you heard one by Brother Tykees as well. But he's not. He's 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 at the warrior level. He's no longer like a Watoto, a, ch- a child. He ain't shit. You full-fledged businessman. Been paying thousands out over the summer, and I, brother, I tell you, man, I got my beat wet just a little bit, but we gotta do more. And we're trying to get up our t-shirt, t-shirts up this year. All right, but anyway, this is brother I, Tim, rambling on as the old men do, and I am out.